business with you, so call me a cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today is day 14 of the wine advent calendar, where we taste a different wine every day leading up to Christmas. No matter how you celebrate the holidays, please join me in trying 24 wines in 24 days. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, thanks and welcome back. Let's get started. Number 14. Volantis. Cabernet Sauvignon. So we're gonna try the Volantis Cabernet Sauvignon. It says it's dry, which is good, from La Mantra. I guess I should know where that is, but I don't. So far I feel like it's been a pretty good mix of reds, whites, and rosés. I always am happy when I see reds, because I like reds. Bodegas Bordugas, it says on the cork. All right, let's give it a try. All right, nice kind of dark red. But a little bit clear. So, color is red. It's red, red. No purple, no brown. It is just red and pretty. Okay, ooh, okay. Hmm, I think I've smelled this before. Kind of like a cement smell. If I remember correctly, I liked the wine, how it tasted afterwards. Maybe some peppers, maybe some tobacco. Okay, I've heard of these smells before, but I haven't necessarily smelled them all. Are you sure they didn't bottle up a spittoon? Well, a cement tobacco spittoon, perhaps. Gross. It just smells like a construction site, basically. Cigarettes and cement. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like cigarettes. It smells like tobacco leaves. It's, uh, it's not gross at all. Okay, well, I like the smell of it. Okay, let's taste it. Okay, it's a little, um, mm, a little sour. A little sour and a little savory. I don't know if this is a thing that I feel like instinctively pairs with it, but I really want to try the prosciutto with it. So I'm just going to try the prosciutto. Your instincts are good. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. That's delicious. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh, that's nice. It took the sourness down, and it's just it's very light. I feel like Cabernet's usually hit you a little harder, but that was a great pang. Now you said I was, my instincts were right. Does it say anything yeah, else? It says the pairings are grilled meat, Okay. Steak and pizza. Oh yeah, I can yeah. see that. I feel like with charcuteries, I always tend toward the cheeses and the meats. I'm not as big on the fruits and, and the olives and, and the spreads. I think there's just something in my palate where I don't tend to be able to pick out the fruits as strongly, but those other notes, like the, I guess the spice notes, and then the stuff that's not food, those are the things I generally smell, and that's generally what I like in wine. So maybe because they said pizza, I will pair it with one of the tomato basil crisps. This is gonna have some flavors, like a pizza. So let's give that a whirl. It tastes like pizza when you leave it in the fridge overnight. I actually prefer second day pizza over yeah, first day pizza. Yeah, pizza is the best. Yeah. Also good, there's a little more acidity back in the wine after that than there was with the meat, but both delicious. Can you do me a favor and just try a regular cheese? I'll try Gouda, how about that? I'm curious. All right. Gouda's like a classic medium cheese for me. A little salty, a little buttery, a little creamy, a little hard. It's, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Great, also great. So I think they're totally on the mark, pizza would be the most amazing pairing with this. It just, if this makes any sense, it sort of flattened the flavor. So anything that was like a little kick in it, just it all kind of flattened, not in a bad way, not in like a, in, went invisible, it just kind of went melodious. All right, see you tomorrow. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cat.